Okay, guys, tech made easy. And um, I've been waiting for one of these to go on sale. This is called a Magic Mesh. All right, it's a hands-free screen door. Um, I don't know. This says it's a deluxe version. Um, it, this has magnets that basically close the screen, uh, as you can see when you're coming out of a door. So um, I don't know how I'm going to get it up, but I'm going to try to record the video. Okay, but um, let's fresh air in, keeps bugs out. So that's the goal. So I wanted to uh, show you what was in the box, and then I am going to record the installation with a chest mount. I'll keep stepping back and showing you what I'm doing and how I'm getting it on my door. Um, so it comes with Velcro. Okay, it comes with an instruction guide that seems pretty good. It's a two-page instruction guide. Um, it comes with tacks. So you got a little box of tacks here. And I honestly think I'm going to probably use the tax more than anything else and get creative uh, with the section um, that I'm going to be installing this in. I'm going to show you the door real quick, and then I will continue the video as I start the installation. This is the uh, mesh itself. There's a top section and a bottom section, so when you do the installation, they say the top section is closed up. Um, and I guess the bottom section's not. So let's see. Uh, all right. Oh, the bottom section is kind of open. And the top section, that's how you know where the top is. It basically starts closed up. It's got these magnets uh, that are here. Okay. Um, seem decently strong. But we'll do some tests. All right, guys. I'll be. Let's go ahead and take a look at the door real quick. So here is the door. Now, I, they have a couple of ways of installing this, but what I'm doing is I am going to install it within the door. So I'm actually going to use, and not everybody has this, but there's a section here that I am going to uh, connect the tacks to so that when this door is open and people go out, you know, by the time this door closes, I end up getting like flies that come in and stuff. So we'll see. I don't know. Is it worth it? I, I paid 10 bucks uh, in a local shop. But what I'll do is I'll put links in the description if it's available for you to buy. I'll try to do that. All right. But be right back. Okay, guys. So I have my hammer there. And then I've got this tool that you use. And don't ask me what it is, but it's a lawn tool. Just in case I have to take the tacks out. I'm not going to push them all the way in to kind of make sure this works. All right. Um, I don't even know if I need the hammer for the text, to be honest with you. It depends on what kind of wood. So I'm going to put this up on the top, and then I'm going to step back so you guys can see. I'm doing this without measuring. I'm just going to look like I normally do and uh, get this up. And So let me put the first tack in. I don't know how much you can see right now, but I'll step back. Just give me a moment. Okay, so here's my first tack. Ah, nice. Went in by hand. Okay, I am now going to put uh, two more tacks in the corners. So, again, you know, chest mount. But I'm going to pull these pretty tight. All right, so I'm just going to pull this tight. So it's uh, got okay. All right, again, I'm not going to push the tacks in all the way yet um, because if it doesn't work, I don't know. I'll just return and get my money back. All right. So again, I've got one corner in. Let me get this next corner. All right. Again, I want to have it nice and tight. Okay. All right, now I've got my corners up, and what I'm going to do now, um, and let me see if I can change the brightness for now. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to kind of clean this up a little bit using the tacks. So you see how this kind of overhangs. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of tuck and then tack. So I'm going to start at the top. All right. 
right? Tuck it in, tuck it in, and then I want to tuck it to the point where it has, you know, it's still a little tight, but not too loose, not too tight. And again, I am pushing these tacks in by hand, and that kind of means that I'm actually pretty strong. So, you know, just a heads up, guys, you know, I mean, if you want to know that I'm strong, <laughs> I'm just kidding with you. All right, let's put another one down here for now. Okay, and uh, again, as you can see, I am now tightening that up, and I'll continue to do that along the sides. Okay, so let me do that. So, and then I'll come back, and we'll do a little test and see how it works. Be right back. All right, guys, so, you know, I got it on the way I wanted it, okay? As I said, I started with a center tack up here, up here in the top. I then put another one in the corners, okay? After I did that, I started to kind of tuck, you know, since this is extra, folded it and used tacks and kept going down just so it would stay within the door, okay? So when I close the house door, okay? I did leave a gap so someone can open the handle to open the door, all right? So there is a little gap here, and uh, I might have to make it bigger. But that gap's there, and hopefully the bugs won't go, ooh, let's go through that side. Um, but, you know, something to think about. And, uh, you know, as you can see, there's a cylinder down here. So, again, I just tacked around, tacked, and then definitely down at the bottom. Okay. And, uh, you know, let me do a little test. I haven't done one. So I'm like, let me go ahead and see if this actually works. So... You know, I want to go outside. I open that up. I put my hand through the middle, I guess. I go out through the, the mesh. I go this way, and the magnet grabs mostly. Okay, the bottom's kind of open a little bit. Um, I'm not sure why. But it looks like it grabbed the whole section. Okay. So, let me uh, lock this open for a second. But uh, take a good look at the magnets, uh, but it did work. I think it'll help me in my situation. I do have a gap here. You know, I see that the magnet's closed, and then there's a gap here, and then the magnet's closed. So um, look for 10 bucks, another gap up there, but the majority um, is closed. So we'll see if it works today as I have my little get-together, all right? Hey guys, all right, so after 24 hours of using this with the family around, um, a couple of things. So one thing, this door is kind of like a metal door. And so what one thing that was happening, as you can see here, is the magnets would get stuck on the door. Okay, the other thing I noticed too is, is I really didn't need to make a handle hole. I didn't need to make it, to be honest with you. Um, so ultimately, that can close up, okay? Which, uh, and sorry about it, because you know, you got the light from the outside. But that's going to be closed up, okay? And the reason why is when this is working, let me just get these magnets to connect. So when this is working, I mean, people just need to go up to the door, open up the magnets, open up the handle, and go right out. So I didn't need to make a hole on the side for the handle. Um, I think that also contributes to possible issues um, with this you know, not working so well with the magnets on the bottom. So be aware if you have a mag, if you if you have a metal door, just be aware that uh, you want to move this in as close as possible when you install it. Just move it as close as possible, um, so that you know when you're opening and closing, it's not perfect. But I'm going to keep it. It was ten bucks, so I'm going to keep it. But I'll uh, I'll give you another update. Okay, come get a treat. Come on. Come on, get a treat. Come on. Come on. You get a treat. Come on. Come. Come. Yeah, good girl. All right. See, guys? So she gets her treat 100%. And uh, yeah, it took a little while to get this right. Um, so I'll share with you in a second what I did. Okay, guys. So look, I had to take this down and put it back up again. Okay, I really did. And the reason why is it was hanging a little bit too much on the bottom. And as you saw in the previous video, it would actually connect to my metal door. 
So what I did was I, I basically took the top back down and as I put it back up, I actually started doubling, you know, just rolling this over. So what it did when I did that was it actually raised this up, okay, number one. So you want to raise this up so it's not, you know, dragging on the bottom, number one. Number two, you want to make sure these magnets aren't too far off of each other. And I know this isn't really an easy thing to see. Um, but, you know, the magnets uh, can be up and down a little bit, but you don't want them to be too far off. Um, you know, for some reason, they don't seem to grab well when they're too far off. So this isn't too bad, okay? So let me show you, and then I'll have her come out. But, um, and it's hard to, to film this, but I'm going to just push myself through the door, and then you'll see that it closed all the way to the bottom. All these magnets just closed, which is really cool. But again, you got to get it on right. It's not going to be perfect. It won't stop everything from coming in. All right. But Brooklyn, come. Come. She is now not afraid to go through. And as you could see, it closed real nice. So look, guys, you know, this is it. I mean, I really hope that you uh, like the review. You find it helpful. Um, you know, I kind of like to go through the trials and tribulations before I uh, submit a final review. So thumbs up would really help our channel. We appreciate thumbs up. All right. The other thing is if you decide you want to share this video, that helps our channel as well. I am going to have the Tech Made Easy logo on the upper right hand corner. Click that when you have time. If you're not a subscriber, click View Channel, click um, Subscribe, and don't forget to hit the bell and you'll get notified of new videos. I will also put some of my other videos here, my other home type videos, helpful tools and different things like that. But take a look at my playlist when you have time. You might find something that you like. Have a great day. Thanks so much for your time.